Hey everybody, today we're going to be working on an old IBM ThinkPad. We're going to be replacing the current hard drive with a SSD, we're going to be upgrading the RAM, and we're going to be upgrading the processor. Come check it out. I got this old IBM ThinkPad laptop case that has an old IBM ThinkPad. This one is the R51. Uh, it has a good battery or a good aftermarket battery and I think it's got Windows XP currently loaded on it. This one currently works but we're going to make it work better by adding uh, a faster processor. We're going to max out the RAM in it. This I believe is a network card? I don't remember. I bought this stuff forever ago um, intending to do this um, years ago. Three or four years ago. And then I have a an SSD and a little case so it'll fit in the IDE slot. Why don't we boot this up real quick and just verify that everything is working on it. As you can see it's currently running Windows XP. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on to it once we replace the hard drive. There right, we have an Intel Pentium M processor running at 1.5 gigahertz. We have a gig and a half of RAM. Yeah. It's a Wi-Fi card. Not sure why I thought it was necessary to do that. Uh, I did research on this a couple years back when I bought all this stuff and I don't remember what my thought process was necessarily. But anyway, it, it is currently working. Um, so we'll uh, go ahead and power it down. right here will be the hard drive uh, it's been a while RAM is here obviously we have to get into it to do the processor for this I don't remember if the whole thing has to come open or whether we could just take the, the keyboard out uh, we're gonna try that first uh, I don't know if you can see here but we have little uh, like marks on this that show which screws need to come out for the keyboard. There, there, this one, this one. I don't know what the other, I don't know if that would be helpful. I don't know what this, this other mark is for. So this is for the keyboard. What's that telling me? I don't know. Keyboard out, the other sticker RAM is here. Our processor is here, but to get to that, I think we need to get this top part off to get this. I'm not sure. We'll see if we can loosen these um, screws on the heatsink and fan, and maybe it'll come out. Probably not. Maybe. Nope. Let's get these other screws out. I'm sitting here, kind of, as I'm taking this apart, wondering what all these numbers mean. Five, four, three. There was a, a two. Two is here. One's over here. Well, it's the length, which is indicated right here.
these old IBM ThinkPads, unlike uh, I guess a lot of newer laptops, especially um, where you can't change out the processor because it's just on the board, or, or I guess you can't easily change out the processor. This one is on a socket. To get this chip out of there, it's just this little cam. So under the sticker there we have the value of this new one which is a 2.1 gigahertz processor. So this should just kind of set down in there. If you notice we have this little triangle the same direction that the triangle on the socket is facing. Okay, we got all the way in. Nice. I'm just going to kind of hold it down while I turn this cam again. There you go. Just going to get a little IPA on a rag and wipe this off. It looks like it has some dried off, dried up thermal compound on it. And I'm going to do the heat sink too. This doesn't look real dry, but that's not too bad. But just going to wipe it off. Put a new one. So it has this kind of foam, I guess, like gasketing, which this is actually all deteriorating. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. I'm just gonna try not to touch it too much. So I don't. It's, I'm sure this is not necessary, but sometimes I'll just kind of like spread out the thermal paste on the silicon itself the chip that's probably too much also but better to have extra and not need it than need it and not have it right okay. I'm going to tighten the screws down I want to make sure I don't forget to plug that fan in So when I put screws in, um, usually when I, when I put screws in where a screw came out of, usually what I'll do is I'll turn it backwards until it kind of like cams in the hole. You can hear it click and then I'll start tightening it in. Let's see if you can hear it on this one. Look at that. The fan and the heatsink uh, fins themselves are pretty clean. I, I guess I must have had this apart at some point before. Okay. So while we have this open, we'll do the RAM, which this is already one gig. Um, One gig. No, well, these are a matched pair. I guess I'll just put the new ones in. Change out that other sticker RAM. But I'm not going to put all the screws in it just yet. Just want to verify this all works. So we'll get this other old, you know, the old hard drive put back in. Oh, and the battery. Okay. 
Okay, I got one of those XP loading up. Sorry for the weird lighting. I don't really have great lights in here yet. Alright, so we got 2 gigahertz Intel Pentium M processor, 1.99 gigabytes of RAM. Cool, so we'll shut this back down and we'll swap out the hard drive. I'm just going to put all the screws back in um, before I change the hard drive out. Okay, so this is the old hard drive. Uh, this is a little door. It's actually loose. I think it's supposed to be like that. You can see it's just like a, a little bit of an oblong hole on both sides. And then it's got this tray that it sits into. So let's get this put together first. Okay, let's use our hard drive. Obviously, there's nothing on it, so we're going to boot from the um, install disk. Okay, I got um, Windows XP reinstalled on here. Um, we got 2.1 gigahertz processor. Uh, we got 2 gigs of RAM, we got 111, 128 gigabyte SSD in here now, uh, so we should be all set. Um, now the other thing left to do is install SimCity, and we should be good. Anyways, thanks for watching.